Hello there, summer's in full swing for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, so I thought I'd recap some of the products I reach for most when the temperature heats up. I don't use all of these products at once, if anything I go even lighter than usual with makeup in summer, but these are the pieces I've enjoyed swapping in and out most this year. Some soft bronzer, warm highlights, peachy blushes, bright red lips. It's admittedly a colour palette I'm into all year round, but it fits summer perfectly. Particularly in the heat, I don't want to feel like I have much on my skin, so I'll often just stick to moisturiser and SPF, or add a very light layer of skin tint on top. If I ever sound like a broken record about light coverage, sorry, it's just for the benefit of new viewers. I get lots of questions about foundation every week, but unfortunately it's just not something I use. Glossier Priming Moisturiser is my go-to daytime moisturiser. Super lightweight, like a fluid, gives skin a hydrated, dewy glow, and it preps it nicely for makeup. My sunscreen of choice this year has been Ultraviolet Supreme Screen SPF 50, a Melbourne brand with several formulas, but the one with the yellow lid is my favourite. A lightweight, creamy texture that feels far more like moisturiser than sunscreen, and it's fractionally smoother than the Mecca sunscreen I often rave about. It's an off-white colour, so there's no white cast, and it leaves a nice, healthy glow. I'll put a discount code below, and they do ship in internationally. If I'd like to even out my complexion a little, I've been loving these two. For some people they might be a nice glowy first step in your routine before foundation, but I like to leave it there. I've hardly put Chanel's Water Fresh Tint down since my Le Beige video a few months ago. It's beautifully sheer and water light with next to no coverage, it just gives skin a healthy radiance. I use half a pump or one pump for my whole face, so it looks more concentrated on my hand than it does in real life. I'm also a big fan of glowy base products, but wearing them on their own just to brighten up the face. By Terry's Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum was a new discovery this year and it's heavenly, so luxurious to use and beautiful on the skin. Apricot Glow is my favourite for a slightly warmer look in summer. I don't find it shimmery and it's very sheer, just a lovely way to create a naturally luminous look. Regular viewers will be no stranger to these four products. I like to mix it up in other areas, but I've found my holy grail concealers and brow products, so I've called off the search. They'll always stay the same. A brightening concealer, either Chanel Eclat Lumiere or the famous YSL Touche Eclat, a click pen with a smooth, light fluid inside that easily brightens under eyes. Clay de Pose Concealer, which is the only product I've used for spot concealing for years. It's high coverage, but creamy, blends well, and always looks like skin. This very battered Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift in Supermodel is my favorite brow pencil. You can and draw on small strokes but my brows are fairly dark anyway so I turn it sideways and lightly shade to add a little bit more definition. Then Glossier Boy Brow to lock it all in. I'll be stocking up on my travels because I've run out of this one but this tiny brush is a great way to spread the creamy pomade and comfortably keep your brows in place. To add a bit of warmth, a new find this year was the Fluff Bronzing Powder and Kabuki Brush from Melbourne. Fluff describes themselves as casual cosmetics and I love their approach that celebrates natural beauty. I usually find cream bronzers easier to apply, but this super fine powder has been foolproof. Easy to lightly dust all over the face using the dense brush. They do only have this one shade, so I hope we'll see more from them in future. I haven't taken this Nude Sticks Nudies Matte in the shade Sunkissed out of my makeup bag for months. It's a great rosy brown that can double as a bronzer or a sun-kissed blush, the way I prefer to use it. It's more matte than others I use but still blends well and I love patting it onto the eyes for a colour blocked look. More on multitaskers coming soon. I don't always use highlighter in summer because sweat or a trip on the subway can create a nice glow all by itself but I do like a slightly warmer tone like RMS Beauty's Peach Luminizer. The same light luminous look with a lot more depth than their Living Luminizer so I only need a tiny bit on my skin but I like it as an eye gloss too. Chantecaille's Liquid Lumiere in Luster plays both blush and highlighter for me. Another peachy tone this this time in a liquid that I like to apply high along my cheekbones so it can imitate a healthy flush and glow. But that's where the rest of the cream blushes come in. Many people prefer powder products in summer to make makeup last longer, but I have normal to dry skin so I always lean towards creams and I don't mind if they fade during the day. The Lila B Divine Duo in Be Lovely is the loveliest nude peach to give your cheeks a healthy flush. Definitely one of my favourite formulas this year. Great as a cream shadow too and a tiny bit on the bridge of the nose where the sun might get you. For a really dewy look from Down Under, Australia's best beauty retailer Mecca Cosmetica launched this Hydra Cheek Tint Duo. A cream highlighter on one side, a smooth cream blush on the other, it's basically me in makeup form. There are three shades but rose is my favourite for a really natural flush. The formula is sheer, creamy, dewy, light, leaves a great glow, ticks all the boxes. Having an Olio e Osso balm in my handbag is one of the easiest ways to lightly tint lips and cheeks. Number 13 Poppy is a rich red with a tiny bit of shimmer that instantly creates that sun-kissed, post-gym, day at the beach sort of blush. I've also been enjoying Chantecaille's Cheek Gelée in Lively, a vibrant peachy orange liquid blush that shears out for a perfectly natural look. 
You can see it's been all about glowy blushes for me this summer. I also let the coral peachy colour mood continue onto the eyes. I picked up a lot of Colourpop shadows on my travels last year and their creamy Super Shock formula is such a standout. Shop is a vibrant coral so I only pick up a tiny bit with my finger and shear it out for a fun pop of colour. Sadly not on their website anymore but I hope they bring it back. So many great bright summery shades to choose from so I'll leave a discount code below too. For a more subtle look, Gillian Dempsey's Lid Tint in Glimmer gives your lids a lived-in, laid-back, peachy glow. It's perfectly dewy and really reflects the light to look like it's opened up your eyes. Can't get enough of Glossier Play's Colour Slides for an unexpected pop of colour, but I still keep it quite minimal. I use the Bright Orange Matte Jumbo to tightly line my upper lash line so the orange is almost undetectable but just makes your eyes pop. Then I use a little bit of the Pink Shimmery Candyland underneath my lower lash line. Might sound strange, but that colour combo works really well well to bring out the green in my eyes and the soft pink feels quite playful. As usual I finish with a coat of my favourite mascara Chanel Le Volume to add length and definition but I don't apply any on my lower lashes just helps to open up my eyes and avoids any smudging. It's toasty and bright in the lipstick department too with a few different textures on the go. Clinique's chubby sticks are perfect when it's so hot you actually don't want any lipstick on. They just add a little bit of comfortable colour. Fuller Fig is quite autumnal but it's my perfect rosy brown all year round. A Bobbi Brown crushed lip colour shade is always in my handbag and Sunset is a vibrant orange to swipe on once as a fun tangerine tint or layer for more intensity. They're creamy and comfortable with the look of a blotted lip. Let's be honest, I'm a red lipstick person in all four seasons, but it always feels particularly summery to me. Lisa Eldridge's True Velvet Lipstick in Velvet Morning has been a surprise favourite shade from her red trio for me. This bright, orangey, intense matte red instantly puts you in a good mood. I'm usually a cream or matte lip person, but I made the switch to lip shines in summer and love the look and feel. There's something juicy and fun about them like crushed summer berries or red cordial. Glossier Play Vinylic Lip helped usher in the new lip shine loving me and Baby is a vibrant red that says summer in one swipe. Creamy and comfortable, not sticky, with a tasty apricot flavour. Bobbi Brown's shiny crushed counterpart is the Liquid Lip, which is not at all a liquid lipstick, really more of a highly pigmented balmy gloss. The shade name Cherry Crush just sounds like summer, doesn't it? Big, bright, juicy red. For something more luxe with more colour payoff too, the By Terry Lip Expert shines glide on like a dream and feel really creamy. So many reds to choose from, Terry's definitely a woman after my own heart, but the shade My Red is a great, bold, bright raspberry. Whew, that was a lot. But summer's a fun time to play with makeup and I'm always swapping elements in and out. Feeling too hot and bothered? Maybe just wear a bright lip. Or having a day at the beach? Could just be SPF and cream blush and you're done. I'd love to hear what you've been reaching for most this summer. What sort of colours and textures have you been experimenting with? Any products you can't put down? Please share in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time.